Hello, Emotive Developers. This is Tim Grotman. You may have received a Unity package from me. It's the word detection package with some extra emotive bits in it. In this video, I'll walk you through what to do next. So first of all, I'm in Unity 5.2.2. So you want to be updated to the latest. You'll import the package and then you arrive here. You'll want to have gone to the Emotive website, gone to My Downloads. You'll want to have installed the premium libraries. With the package imported, you'll notice that an Emotive menu item appears here. Now, if the libraries aren't detected because you don't, haven't installed the premium libraries, copy EDK library will be grayed out. And since it's not, I can click that. Copy EDK library will copy the EDK DLL library out of the installed premium folder and copy it into your project and it will place it right into the plugins emotive edk folder now with native c libraries in unity once you hit play that library is going to be loaded in memory so if you try to do emotive and copy the library again you're going to get an access denied error and that will just require you to restart unity before you try and copy the library again now that we have the EDK library inside our plugins folder, we want to open up an example. Now I have the examples under the word detection package, word detection subfolder, we'll find scenes, and then here's all the different examples. And right now I've got example 19 emotive EEG scene. So you want to double click that or open that scene. And this includes examples 19, 20, and 21. So once you've opened that scene, you can go ahead and press play. If you have an emotive dongle, you want to have that plugged in. So now that the, I have played the scene, that will load the native C++ library into memory, so that if I ever hit stop, it never actually unloads the emotive library. So not until you restart Unity. So here's the emotive native library. And it also loads the EDK DLL. And if you were to attempt to do this again, a mode of copy EDK library, you'll get a warning that it can't copy the EDK DLL again until you restart Unity. So that's that's a little caveat with Unity native plugins. They stay in memory after the first time that they're loaded. And if you want to make any updates, you have to restart Unity before you can update them. Okay. Now, back to the example. Example C19. And the first few examples here, if I hit play, these example scripts here are there to graph the various channels of the raw EEG data. So they're in the scene in the same order that they appear here in the game view. There's a camera, just makes the background blue. There's an EEG microphone, so that's responsible for using the native plugin and grabbing the data. And the EEG microphone is the source for a lot of the different examples for pulling data. Next, we have example 20, and it draws this UI widget here, which is responsible for doing pattern detection on EEG profiles. If you hold down the button for half a second or so, it will capture a profile. We'll try and match the EEG profile against the raw data coming in. And you can set a couple different profiles by just clicking and holding. So the idea is you'd meditate and you'd hold down the noise button for like 100 samples or so. And then you'd be thinking about jumping and you'd hold down the jump button. And that would set the, the jump pattern. And you'd think about going left. And that would set the going left pattern. You'd think that's going right, that would set the right pattern. And then as the plugin features progress, this will get more and more accurate using raw brain waves to, to do pattern matching based on profiles. Next we have example 21. And this converts raw EEG channels to audio clips so that you can hear brain waves. Alright, so this is a quick overview of the word detection emotive plugin and what to do after you've imported the package to run the examples. If you have any questions, as always, just let me know. All right, thanks for watching.